Welcome to episode 5, Board Connection. So, uh, before I connect items to the board, uh, I want to first uh, acknowledge that um, I made a mistake when I was watching episode 4 and realized that I used a 28 gauge wire for the power and the manual recommends for the Verso board that you use 26 to 24 gauge wire, something a little thicker and stronger because you are, you know, running uh, a power through three LEDs there. So I did uh, off the camera update and correct the uh, positive wires to a 24 gauge. Moving forward. Um, what I did, um, this is a, a chassis that I put together for a, a previous project that I ended up taking apart again. Um, so in this particular installation, we're not going to see uh, me doing the recharge port and whatnot. Uh, but what's important to note is that you need, uh, you have three prongs. One is for uh, positive to your uh, battery. Um, one is a ground to the board and the third is the negative to the battery. And then I soldered all of that together and I use, you know, red, white, and black just so I know when I, what goes where when I'm feeding through. And as you see, the black wire is going into the negative side of the battery, which is, uh, marked there. And then the red fed through to the positive side of the battery, which you can see is marked there. Let me focus that. There we go. Positive and negative. And then the white goes up to the board. So, um, and what I have here is uh, positive to the battery going to the board, and then this positive here is going to run into powering the LED and the switches or this switch because I'm only using one. Okay, so put that aside for now. Uh, at this point I'm basically getting the sizing to determine how I'm going to fit it in the hilt and then I'm going to do the switch. Now one thing that's uh, that I find helpful is you either have to do really long wires for the switch to come out the, uh, the end that way you can solder it to the board or another method, which I'm going to try to do here today, is utilize these uh, connectors. So this way I can easily separate the, uh, the switch, plug that in, drop it into the hilt, and uh, rock and roll. And that way if I want to take it apart, I can just separate the switch and then slide the chassis out the, uh, out the pommel end. And sometimes when it's already connected with one wire, it's hard to do that. And then you have to end up cutting your wires to remove the switch or do anything else. So I'm going to solder up these switches to make that uh, basically uh, easier to remove and edit. So let me do that first. For the switch, the manual recommends to use 28 to 32 gauge wire. I think 30 is just too thin and small and I think those wires are more prone to break so I'm gonna go with the 28 gauge wire and I like to use yellow uh, because I don't use that for any other color so I always know when I see yellow it's gonna be my switch wires so at this point I'm going to solder my uh, wire to this uh, switch here and then place some shrink wrap or some heat shrink over that to seal it up uh, good and tight so that way it doesn't uh, fall off. So now I've connected the two wires to the connector mm -hmm. and then from there I'll connect uh, these two wires to the switch and then from at that point all I have to do is just uh, solder the two wires over this end that go to the board and then I can easily connect the switch to the board uh, without having to cut any wires or resolder or anything. As you can see, I have now attached the connector to the wires to the switch. 
and that's all soldered in there uh, good and solid so at this point it'll just go into the hilt but before I do that I would have this portion connected to the board and I would uh, pull it up through the hole connect the switch that way to the board and then tuck that inside and then it should work and then if I ever want to remove just come out pull it and I should be good to go to make any adjustments I need to so uh, this is going to be a good helpful solid system to use so I finished uh, the other end of the connector that goes to the board so these are the end of the wires over here and then I can just take a pair of tweezers pull out that connector there attach my switch then it'd be now it's connected to the board that tucks inside like so wire comes out the other end solder to the board and I've got my switch working so the next step from here is I'm going to start um, aligning things up and figuring out how I'm going to get the board uh, connected to the components before I start sizing things up and getting my order I'm going to solder my wires to the speaker the Versal manual recommends 28 to 32 gauge wire I'm going to use 28 just because anything smaller uh, from my experience tends to uh, break and I have plenty of space in these MH, MHS compatible hilts so I'm going to go with the 28 black so that way it blends in a little bit better in case uh, I see anything coming out of the hilt uh, and all I'm going to do is just solder to each end of the speaker so there's a uh, pad here and there's one on the opposite side it's marked positive and negative however from my experience I noticed that that doesn't matter when you're connecting to the board so you don't need different color wires or worry about which goes where as long as both are connected to the board uh, positive and negative does not matter all right speakers wired up and we're ready to get our game plan so this is the most probably time-consuming and important part for me and that is having a plan of where your wires are going to go how you're going to feed them and how you're going to connect everything to the board because you always want to get your orientation of where is the board going to be positioned so on this particular saber I'm going to position it right here and the vel secured in the velcro strap there access to the memory card and then nothing uh, in the way of the wires so now I have to decide where am I going to feed my wires and how is it going to fit into the hilt this is going to be probably the most um, time-consuming or uh, important part now here I've got the red is the positive for the recharge port white is the uh, the ground that go to the board so I know from underneath here I'm going to attach let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better okay so the red here is going to go to the positive of the board right there so I'll solder that to the bottom this white here will go to the ground of the negative of the board and that'll be underneath and I'll trim that and connect that there this here is uh, coming from the battery and this is going to the to power the LED and the switch so this I'll probably just connect right up top there now the speaker that's easy so I know that's going to be positioned down here if I look I can just feed the speaker wire right through here on top of the um, recharge port it'll pop out this hole here and then connect right there and I'll do that on the bottom as well so it's not showing up top I mean not like not like it really matters but it'll be flush and closer to the board that way and then I'll probably secure it close to the corner here with some hot glue so that way the wire just runs all the way up to the side 
So now I know where, this, uh, where the speaker is going to go. Now if you look under here, this is where I have to put the switch. So I'll probably run the yellow wire uh, from the switch under here and then connect that to the bottom. So now I know where my switch is going to go. Now let's talk about the LEDs. So for this it's going to be uh, RGB or BGR. So the blue will be right here closest to the negative, the green will be in the middle, the red will be on the bottom. So that's, that's simple and easy. I'll just run those wires down the right side of the battery terminal and solder those right there. So now I know the direction of all my wires and where they're going to go. LEDs, power, switch, speaker. And the only thing coming up from the bottom here will be the speaker and the positive and ground for the recharge port. I always keep my kill key in so when I eventually connect the battery um, I can hear the boot up and all that stuff and know that everything's working. Okay, so now that I have a game plan there, uh, I'm going to go ahead and solder everything to the board. And before I put anything in the hilt, you always want to do a test and check to make sure everything works correctly. With it already out, if something doesn't work right, you can easily access it to uh, fix it and repair it. Uh, but if it's already in the hilt and everything's locked in and something doesn't work, now you have to take everything apart, which can be frustrating. So, I'm going to go ahead and set the board up onto my hobby vise and start connecting all the components on here to get ready to do my initial test. So I've connected the LED, the red, green, and the blue here. I may or may not uh, braid or wrap these uh, wires later just so that I can uh, condense better once I put it inside the hilt. Uh, now, next thing I'll do is connect the uh, one of the switch wires, the one that goes uh, to the bottom of the board here. I'm going to connect that wire, and then once that's connected, I'm going to uh, cut or reduce the, uh, the second wire that's going to go to the power, splice that with the power of the LED, and go into the battery right here. Okay, so I did the switch and cut that to fit at the right length and spliced that together with the power going to the battery. Made sure I put my heat shrink on prior to soldering uh, because if you don't then it's too late. That way I can just slide it over there and then protect that, uh, that joint. So the last step now is to connect my my battery, uh, my board negative, and the two board positives. This one here for the uh, from the recharge port, and then this one here up top for the battery. Okay, so everything is wired and connected, and it's good to always double check your diagram and double check your work to make sure everything's connected properly. So I've got my red, green, and blue going to my LED. I have my uh, power to the LED connected to the power of the uh, activation switch going to the power setting or setup of the board here and then I have the activation switch control connected I have my uh, ground for the recharge port as well as the positive and negative and then there's my recharge port there so Looks like uh, we can have our first test here. You're seeing this the first time as I am, so if it doesn't work, then it's going to be a surprise uh, for me as it is for you. So here's the SD card. I have not formatted or done anything with it on the computer yet. And uh, you know what? Let me just check that first before we do anything else. All right, I checked the SD card on the computer, and it is set for... A uh, Cree setup and it's uh, the basic out of the box no betas or anything like that yet so uh, here we go 
have installed a few sabers and to be honest with you every time I do the first the first power on it makes me nervous because I'm always afraid I, I screwed something up and it's not going to work right. Batteries in and kill key. Crystal core rebooting. Crystal core initiated. Okay, you can't you can't see me right now, but you could probably hear it in my voice. I'm smiling right now. Always a good sign when you hear that. Okay, here we go. Yes. <laughs> I still get excited the first time I light up a, a saber that I've installed. Uh, let's test our swing here. There's our smooth swing. Clash. Okay, we got our clash. Yeah. Again, this is the, uh, the basic version. So this is before the accent swings were put in, before we had uh, blaster or any of that stuff. Let's check our colors. Cool, we got green. And we have blue, so all three LEDs are working properly. Excellent. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed going through this process uh, step here. So, that's going to be it for this episode. I've uh, attached everything. I've got my connectors for the switch here. Everything on the board, tested that, and it works great. So in my, uh, in my next video, the next episode, we're going to insert it and make it fit in the hilt. And there can be challenges there as well, trying to manipulate all the wires to get in there properly. So uh, we are well on our way, and I think we'll probably be able to wrap this up in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and... Episode 6, In With The New, or Return of the Jedi. <laughs>